Hey everybody, happy Friday. I am super duper excited because not only because it's Friday, but because I am going on vacation in about 24 hours. So I am so jazzed. Um, but enough about that. I'm, that's not why I'm here. I'm here to talk to you guys about soda. Soda part two, right? Um, I talked to you last time about what's in soda and you know now that one of the main ingredients is sugar in the form primarily of high fructose corn syrup, which is really not good for us. Um, but I also, before I jump into that, I wanted to talk to you guys about how what we're used to, the habits that we form, they really make a big impact on our health. So, for example, when I was growing up, and I have this distinct memory of every night at the dining room table or at, at dinner time, on the dining room table, there was always this huge pitcher. And inside the pitcher, there was water. And that is what developed my love for and my habit um, of drinking nothing but water, basically. Um, so I say that to you. So if you guys have kids, I would encourage you to start that habit early on so that they develop that love for water too. And as a matter of fact, to this day, I don't even like carbonated water. I don't like any carbonated drinks. I never developed a taste for it. So it's just a matter of forming those habits early on and that'll just take you through to the rest, you know, it'll um, continue on with you for the rest of your life. But I wanted to talk to you about sugar and how much sugar is actually in each can of soda that we consume. One can of soda, you guys, has 10 teaspoons, 10 teaspoons of sugar, and that's an average. Some have a little more. Um, that is more than your average candy bar. I mean, who, that's insane. I mean, I don't know about you, but I think twice before I even reach for a candy bar. I hardly ever have them, but if I do, I'm thinking, eh, that's a lot of sugar. That's a lot of fat. That's a lot of just junk in that candy bar. Do I really want that? So think about that the next time you reach for that can of soda, 10 teaspoons of sugar in that can of soda. And to put that into further perspective for you, the, um, the recommendation for the average woman is, uh, let me think here, it's five teaspoons of sugar for the entire day, for the entire day, you guys, okay? For men, it's nine teaspoons of sugar. I had to test my memory there for a minute. And then for kids, it's four teaspoons four teaspoons for our children, and that's per day. So that means that if your child is having a soda, they've already exceeded the, the recommendation almost threefold. It's like two and a half times the amount of sugar that they're supposed to have for the entire day. And then it's no wonder that, sorry, <laughs> it's no wonder that we're thinking, why can't our kids focus in school? Why can't, why are, are do our kids, you know, suffer with attention? disorders and hello they're walking around high as kites on sugar now speaking of being high <laughs> did you know that sugar is highly addictive yeah true story research studies show that it's eight times more addictive than cocaine oh my gosh that is just mind-boggling to me to think that we would um you know, put something into our body that is so bad for us and that it's so addicting, why would we wanna do that? And here's something else too. There, there's this doctor named Phil Maffetone and um, I will put his name in a blog that I'm gonna post along with this video later. He has done ex an extensive amount of research in terms of sugar and how addicting it is and the effects that it has on laboratory rats. It is crazy, do you know that, that dopamine levels go up just in anticipation of sugar not even ingesting it just in anticipation of it just thinking about it oh I'm gonna have sugar and our dopamine spikes um, you know and also we go through withdrawals when we don't have sugar just like an addict goes through withdrawals when they don't have their drug the similarities are really uh, there's no denying it and also even how the sugar gets processed to actually get the sugar 
from the cane juice or the beets because that's how it starts, right? Sugar, um, to get sugar, it goes, starts off as cane juice or beets and then it gets chemically refined and it turns um, into molasses and it gets processed into brown sugar, then it gets processed eventually into white sugar. Well, did you know that we have, let's see, there's um, the poppy seed and we extract um, opium from the poppy seed and then that gets chemically refined and we get morphine from it and then that gets chemically refined and eventually we get heroin from it. Same process, we end up with a white powdery substance just like sugar and they're both addicting um, substances. So the similarities, you just can't deny it and it's they're both harmful for us and the sugar industry, the food industry, they're relying on the fact that, yes, it's addicting, and yes, we're going to get addicted, we're going to get hooked, we're going to continue to buy that soda, because it has, hello, 10 teaspoons, if you missed it, 10, 10, I wish I could hold up both hands, 5 plus 5, 10, 10 teaspoons of sugar, you guys, it's just insane. I want you to go get a teaspoon and... Uh, measure it out, 10, and look at the pile of sugar that you end up with. It's absurd to think that you would even just drink that. I mean, you might as well drink syrup straight, right? And at least that would be healthier for you if it was pure maple syrup. Um, so I really want you to rethink when you reach for that can of soda, and I wanna, want to um, encourage you to try to cut back. I know it's hard but it, this is for your health. It's for um, your, your healthy living and it's really worthwhile. And I have a lot of clients who I am so proud of and even my husband too. My husband kicked the sugar, the, the soda habit over six years ago and he's been soda free ever since. I'm so proud of him. And I have other clients who also were addicted to the sodas and they cut it out too. They lost weight. They feel so much better and their health has improved. So I would encourage you to try to do the same thing too. Now, finally, for those of you who are thinking, oh, I don't have to give up my soda because I drink diet soda, right? That has no sugar in it. I want you to tune in next time when I go live because I'm going to be discussing diet sodas and why you should not touch those either. All right, you guys, have a fantastic weekend. I need to go pack and I am super excited. As I told you, I might post some pictures and keep you guessing as to where my destination is. Uh, so have a wonderful weekend. Try to have just one soda one less soda this week than you normally would. That would be a fantastic start. So make it a great day. Fuel up for a fit life by drinking extra water. That's what I want you to do. Chat to you later. Bye-bye.